Ooh, are you flattening those flowers? Yeah. Dude, that's so awesome. I know, it's gonna look cool. You're gonna look like a lily. So this is my mom, Mary Hi. Jane. She's our model and my mother. I love her. I've never done anything like this before. I'm, I'm excited. I'm a little, you know, nervous about it. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Whether or not she likes how she looks in it, I think everybody else does. <laughs> I'm Raya Pappas. This is my coffee. It's so delicious. Let's drink that, Raya. Coffee. coffee is really good for you and in your tummy. I am really excited to shoot today. I'm a photographer. On set. And off set. <laughs> Time of day is very early, so it's 8:25. Um, and the reason we have to shoot this early is because the sun comes up and then makes. It's, I mean, I use a pool that has all windows, and so the sun comes in and hits the water in a very unnecessary, harsh, and unfavorable light. I've been working on this this specific underwater project for a good year, a year and a half. I've been um, moving away from just experimenting with the water and just having fun with it. And like the awe of the first experience kind of lasted a while for me because it's a really cool first experience and it, it doesn't really leave that fast. I think I'm moving now towards some more interesting ideas and more conceptual ideas. My new body work is more about releasing energy, how body moves underwater and exploring underwater and what that means to be a woman in underwater. And that's been kind of the new, the new way my, my project has been going. Before it was a lot more, um, meant to be a lot more mystical, a lot more, uh, a little bit sci-fi, fantasy. The more I was trying to be more fantasy, the less I was being me. And so I'm really taking a new step and I'm doing these, these new projects to kind of make it be more authentic and be more me without all the razzle dazzle and I'm really excited about it. But I'm kind of, I think it's kind of cool that you're using an older model anyway. I think that, that there aren't enough older models that too many people focus on being youthful and our society is so oriented toward thin and young and gorgeous. I'm a little ripe <laughs> and older. She is, oh man. <laughs> I, the only thing that comes to mind is Greek. <laughs> my mom is a Greek woman. It's, uh, my mom is a very playful, intelligent, talented Greek woman. Uh, she is stubborn. She has her own ideas. She is very moldable though, which is on film is a lot of fun. It's an honor for me when she invited me to do it. I just thought, I was a little hesitant, you know, being my age and being in the water and being filmed and everything. and being a little self-conscious, but you know, I'm just gonna throw that out the window and just let it all happen. I think that would be beautiful. Can I have you? And then if we didn't do that one here, we could do that, this one here. Can I have you come back to me, Mom? The main reason for the portrait is to talk about confidence and being a woman and how you deal with society. It kind of goes with my abstract idea when I started the project was when women are underwater, they're comfortable and they can feel free to be themselves. But when they reach the surface, they have to deal with a whole new level of reality. And they have to be strong and hard. And I mean, I think that main, mainly I got a lot of that from you, whether I want to admit that one or not. I mean, you own your own business and you've had to go through a lot to do so. I mean, we come from a very strong woman family. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah. Where's your car? Uh, right in front of the rat. Okay. I hate this weather, I do. It sucks. And I can't wheel anything out here that's very heavy and it's a pain. I'm also really excited to finally be able to do this project with her because I've been waiting for a long time for like the right moment to kind of collaborate. Why don't you get your, your, your big piece in the back first? I'm gonna have to put it actually in the seat. It's too really? big for the back. I think that anticipation of having her realize what I do with my life and how I do it and she gets to get to know me and. I get to kind of give a part of me to her. It's really huge at that moment for me. I got the keys. I'm glad you got the keys. <laughs> Ooh, it smells like a pool. Yes, it does. Water for me okay. has been wow. my favorite thing since I was born. I used to sit in the tub for like four hours on end and never want to get out. And I was a pool baby. It's the first time she gets in the water, so she starts to get comfortable, which is really important for me. And then, um, and this is probably one of my, this is my baby was the flowers and the hair project. So it's kind of fun to play with her and she's <laughs> such a good portrait taker. So 
I don't know, it's just the start of the whole thing, so. Sounds good, do you wanna get wet all the way up to here? <laughs> are, you, are you feeling warm enough? Okay. So I'm gonna have For to me, to put myself in my model's place is huge, and to realize that they are very vulnerable the minute you start shooting them. Let me help you get comfortable. You're gonna kind of scoot down. Don't worry. It's hard for me to hear with my ears on the monitor. Don't hear. You're asking them to do something that's out of their element. They don't generally do, and you just need to let them know that they're in good hands, and that's my motto. The portrait I want you to do is exactly what we were talking about earlier. Your face and your eyes, I want you to talk about coming to the surface and being a strong, powerful woman. Got it. Whether that's hard or that's soft or beautiful, make sure not to get water on your face. That's beautiful. Your eyes, they're as pretty as the sea. I do push my model's boundaries. I just make sure that they know I'm always going to take care of them before I do so. And with my mother, it was I loved making her feel at home and like I was taking care of her. Are you comfortable? Yes. No stress? No stress. Okay, good. <laughs> when I'm standing over a woman specifically, it's a very dominant Perfect. position, and I feel like they need to know that I'm there in the best intentions. I think we're good. Let's, let's go take those flowers out of your hair. <laughs> really? You're done with that? Mm hmm I love the scarf. I love her hair. I love her facial expression. Whoop. But you never know until you get it on your computer. Really, you don't. So this is my uh, my AD700. It's an uh, Aquatica camera housing. It basically houses my D700 from Nikon. It's like the most beautiful thing ever made. When I got this, I just like put it on a pedestal for a while and like was like all hail. And this is the beautiful dome. Love this dome. <laughs> She's having a ball right now. I go underwater with my models, and so that's the difficulty of timing. Like, if I don't go down at the right time, how am I going to catch them? Especially if you have some surface photographs, like, you know, the one next to me here with the bubbles hitting the water. If I, she jumped in the water, and if I wasn't down there and ready for her and focused, I would have never caught it. And we're going to start with just simple moves. Geometric. Yeah. You're so excited. I'm ready now. People aren't used to being underwater in clothing, let alone being underwater, you know, with a dress that sticks to your legs. There are definitely some things about experimentation with that oh, that's a that little, so little nerve-wracking. It's beautiful, but your face looks like a, is a little bit in pain. <laughs> <laughs> if you are comfortable with water, I think the bottom line is if the person is comfortable opening their eyes and going under, that's a huge thing, because if, if they're free to do that, they're so much more free to let go of the way they work on the surface and start doing things they've never done underwater. This too, you're holding some tension. Right here, you're holding some tension in your jaw. It's, you know, like old school, like, I am upset, you know, kind of thing going I, on. But I'm being a diva? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Let me see. Hello. Right here. Oh, neat. Yeah. The reason we set up the shot is because I really wanted the bubbles. I could do another one like that. <laughs> I bet you could. Move the scarf and then and then dive underneath it. I think initially why I started with clothing was because it's unusual underwater. Okay, ready? Get set. I, I'm really a woman photographer. I like shooting women beautifully. For me, I thought dresses would be the first place to do it. They flow well. They're fun, they're expressive underwater, especially if you've got all these crazy things going on. It's just amazing what the fabric does underneath the water, how it restricts my movement. What I'm afraid of is that we're going to get too scarf oriented, that we don't talk about the movement. Okay. So maybe what we do is we literally put the scarf around you. I think at the bottom of my photography soul, I want people to express an emotion, to use their emotions and to work through them and to feel them when they look at my work. Is that hard to do? This is a workout. <laughs> People used to come to me with my book and be like, I thank you for doing this, you know? And that was really wonderful. And I, I hope that whether or not this is as dramatic as that was, that they do, they have that reaction. And they leave uh, either feeling like they want that in their living room or that they've actually gotten something from it.